Okay, here at Tobacco University, we're going to be looking at using body temperature to estimate the time of death and how we would go about calculating that. So first off, we need to understand that different parts of temperature. So we have something called the visceral temperature, which is the temperature of the internal organs, and those particularly within the abdomen and thoracic cavity, kind of those interior core organs would be the visceral temperature. And that's going to be important to note when we're looking at taking temperature. So when we're documenting temperature, uh, this is, uh, yes, we're taking down temperatures as we would like anything. However, the pathologist or coroner's record, they're going to look at the temperature of the body. They're also going to take into, into account the temperature of the scene of the crime, the weight of the victim, and all other appropriate variables to take into consideration. So it's not just one point in temperature, we're also looking at the individual and the surrounding conditions, as well as the weight or mass of that individual. These are then applied to a formula uh, designed to predict the time since death. So this is not just one temperature and immediately go through and throw an equation. We have to consider many factors and should be documenting those, uh, particularly when we're taking evidence down. Now that change in temperature, uh, diagram showing how the liver temperature relative to the room determines the time of death. So ambient would be the room temperature, and we can see that taking a very sharp uh, decrease here. Uh, but we notice that the brain temperature, the forehead, and the liver is the slowest to progress in that downward trend. Since the temperature of a dead body falls at about one and a half degrees per hour, the 87 degree liver temperature indicates the time of death was about six to seven hours before. So that again, this just kind of shows a graph here. Here's the little figure and caption associated with that. Um, so just be mindful that that liver, because it is so interior to the body, um, is the most resistant or slowest to change in temperature. Now that temperature change equation, uh, the usual equation is represented here, where we're taking 98.4 minus the measured rectal temperature divided by 1.5. Now I give you the approximate hours since death. This means that the body drops approximately one and a half degrees for each hour after death. Keeping in mind, this is looking at that core temperature, and this is looking also at um, our temperature taken in Fahrenheit, uh, because that would be 98.4 would be pretty much the average or the starting temperature um, of the human body. Here we see them expressed in Celsius. We see again over time that core temperature, the interior most, is going to be the slowest to change. So keep in mind when taking temperature, we want to make note where we're taking it. We also want to take more than just the temperature of the body. We also want to consider the environment that that body was found in to help tell the most effective story of what's going on in that particular scene.